to an end. A professor who reportedly lied about being black has resigned. George Washington University says Dr. Jessica Krug has left the school. She was swept up in a backlash after allegedly writing a blog claiming to have masqueraded as a black woman for years, but she admitted to being white and Jewish. She hasn't confirmed she wrote the blog and isn't talking today, but the university says her resignation is effective immediately and hopes the community can start healing. First at four, we're also tracking some of the stories that are making headlines around the world. A huge fire broke out today at the port of Beirut. Obviously, that scared a lot of people because it is the same place where an explosion last month killed nearly 200 people in devastated parts of Lebanon's capital. The Lebanese army says today's fire started at a warehouse where oil and tires are placed in the duty-free zone. So far, no reports of injuries or deaths today. Investigators are working to determine what caused the new fire. The facility was decimated last month when nearly 3,000 tons of ammonium nitrate detonated. The world is remembering British actress Diana Rigg. She died of cancer this morning, surrounded by her family. Rigg is known for decades. Her roles from the flashy 1960s show The Avengers to the fantasy drama Game of Thrones. She played the rival queen who poisoned King Joffrey. For Thrones fans, her confession to that crime was an iconic moment on that show. Diana Rigg was 82 years old. Looks like we will be wearing face masks for a while. So, a South Korean company is launching a mask upgrade. Comes with a battery powered filtered face mask designed to help with breathing difficulties and fogged up glasses. LG Electronics says the mask features two fans and HEPA filters that clean the air coming in and out of the mask. We're told it weighs about as much as a pair of goggles. You should be able to wear the mask for about eight hours before recharging no word on price.